the crate weighs 400 pounds. We want to find the force P that's necessary to keep the crate in equilibrium. The first step, of course, is to draw a free body diagram. The only point of interest we have is this crate. So if we draw the free body diagram of the crate, we have a tension in one cable going to the left, a tension in the cable from the pulley going up at a 3, 4, 5 right angle. We can call that T2. And we have the weight of the crate pushing down. This is 400 pounds. The thing about a pulley, if you were to draw the free body diagram of the pulley, you have the 3, 4, 5 right triangle and the pulley coming down P. As long as this P, as long as this rope, is a continuous circuit that goes over a pulley and if the pulley could in fact turn to produce its equilibrium we can assume that T2 is equal to P. That means that the friction has to be there's no friction in the pulley. The pulley has to be frictionless and the pulley is in fact held in place somehow. So as long as there's no friction in the pulley T2 is equal to P. This is what we want to find. We can write each of these forces in Cartesian form. T1 is just T1 in the negative direct I direction. 400 pounds is in the negative J direction. And we have T2, which is a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So we have 3 fifths T2I plus 4 fifths T2J. And remembering that T2 is equal to P, we can write this as 3 fifths of P in the I direction plus 4 fifths of P in the J direction. Take your equilibrium equations. The sum of the forces in X equals 0 and the sum of the forces in Y equals 0. If we add up all the I's, we have minus T1 plus 3 fifths P equals 0. And if we add up all the J's, we have minus 400 plus 4 fifths P equals 0. We don't actually need this one. All we really need is this one and we can solve P equals 500 pounds.